Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Banjo Tooie. We are in Jiggy Wiggy's temple because we are in need of opening up the last world. How about that for a head scratcher? They put a world inside of a world. Who'd have thunk it? Well, y'all probably already knew. Anyway, let's do it. Oh man, you took the whole puzzle out. What the heck, man? You could have at least given me a centerpiece and left it in there. All right, fine. I guess we got to do this from scratch. Well, as we put this together, you might actually begin to gradually, uh, if I put the pieces in correctly, uh, you'll be able to tell that we actually have been to this place before. Technically, if you haven't actually, if you already, like, put this together before you went to the Cauldron Keep, you'll already know, like, what this place, uh, well, actually, let me take back what I just said, because apparently I'm confusing my train of thought again. I, I do that way too often. If you haven't actually, like, gone to the Cauldron Keep, you wouldn't know what this place looks like. You'd be like, oh, what is this, you know? And you're thinking, you're probably thinking to yourself, why would they put this world here? Like, what is this? Like, is this an alternative world we have to go to after we chase after Grunty? No, they just put a world inside a world. I know. It's actually pretty creative, though. So I gotta give them props for that, you know? I, I try to... It's not like I was trying to bag on the creators for doing that. For creators of this game for doing that, but I'm like, nah, actually, that was a pretty good idea. Anyway, I need to stop being such a weirdo. Because we're almost done here. Man, only 28 seconds? Oh, pff. What are you doing? That's an edge! Put the edge in the edge, dude! Come on. Puzzle 202, because you already did 101. You have completed my final masterpiece. Now, I shall show you the way. I know, I kind of condensed what he said, but, you know, I was getting tired of him referring to himself in the third person as the Great One, ooh. It's funny the first few times, but after a while it's like, okay, this joke is getting old. Kind of like my burps and my disgusting humor. Behold the power of the Golden Nugget! Alright, so here we are. Man, I'm just saying, but if he's got this kind of power, why didn't he just take out Gruntilda himself? Like, watch this. The Jackal can hit the frickin' laser inside her cauldron key. And... Mew! I guess, like, the top of the tower is, like, jiggy-wiggy master-proof, or gold nugget-proof! But we're gonna bring in the gold Bing. nugget power and gonna kick Gruntilda's booty. But before we do that, I do want to take care of something. Excellent! You have proven yourself most worthy by opening all the doors. A super special challenge now awaits, one that has no reward, yet is the greatest test of all. If you wish to try it, take a crack at it. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I almost said take a loan. Or take a load off, rather, but I don't know why. Alright, so this is kind of an extra gooey, fun little thing. Super special challenge. My gosh, could they make that title any longer? Shut up, they probably could. Alright, so... Behold the mighty challenge here. This, as you might be able to imagine, can be kind of fun, but it can also be kind of infuriating if you're trying to do this right. So the new controls to this is now we can actually rotate pieces by using the C buttons. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now, for the most part, I will say this, presuming you don't do like I just did for the first two. Come on, dude, not there. There we go. You can kind of tell, like, which way the pieces are supposed to maybe face if you don't have like a good picture because a lot of the edge pieces will either have the oh, actually you know what this this one in particular usually has like okay well let me let me just like my freaking train of thought here uh yeah that's definitely gonna be over here if you've like done enough of the puzzles you'll start to get in kind of an eye for which direction these pieces are supposed to be facing but even if you are, you know, you can still use the basics of Puzzle 101. Focus on the corners and edges, then work your way inward. Not saying that you'll succeed, because I probably might not succeed, but eh. I figured I'd show this off anyway. Dude, get on there. Okay, yeah, there we go. That over there. Oh, shoot, I just grabbed a piece and I shouldn't have grabbed it. Come on, get in there. It's gonna bother me unless I put it somewhere. You know, you would think I'd be like, oh, no, I'll just put it back. No, I I'm... I'm like that anal when I pick up a piece, especially in a real in real life when I got a puzzle. I'm like, dude, I've got to find out where this piece goes. Okay, this clearly is not gonna fly here. 
What makes this challenge more interesting is the fact that not every piece needs to be rotated, so sometimes you might rotate a piece and you, you'll just create more work for yourself, basically. Alright, that's definitely on the ground, I saw that. This over here... Dude, I totally... Ugh, fine, put it there then. DUDE! You have failed, but alas, it was to be expected. WHAT?! What do you mean it's to be expected?! You butt face! Oh, that is it. We're gonna do this until we get it right. I don't care. Alright, third time's the charm. Let's do this. Let's do it. Alright, put that on the ground and quit singing, dummy. Seriously. Oh, nice. I didn't have to rotate that one. Okay, I think we about got this. Man, this is really boring, probably. Jeez, I don't know why I've decided to do this. We're supposed to be going off and kicking Gruntil's fat, bony butt. Actually, it's probably skinny. Because, you know, the word bony, when you describe someone's butt, you don't generally use the word fat, you know, unless you're saying pH fat. Ooh. And that's, a Gruntil's butt is anything but that, trust me. It's probably like a no... Way zone. A no way zone, yeah. I was gonna say, it's a caution zone, don't go this way. Or as they say in the Zelda games, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Alright, now that we've got the freaking. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna screw this up. Dude. Thank you, yes. Okay. Don't cheat me out of this, man. Dude! Dude! What? Get. Come on now, we're at the end! Don't you dare! Dude! Dude! Get... What? Am I blind? <laughs> Put the piece in the right place, you dummy! Jesus! Bejeebus! Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on. My gosh, that was an abysmal score of a time. Jigtastic! I declare that 96 is the fastest time thus far. You truly are the chosen one. Oh, sure, now I'm the chosen one. But earlier you were like, oh, it was to be expected that you'd fail. It's like the, the creators, when they wrote the dialogue for him, they're like, it's kind of a passive-aggressive approach. But yeah, anyway, once you've done that, it doesn't really do anything. Like he said, there's no reward. And as far as I know, they don't have like any high score you can try to compete for. Maybe if you look around on YouTube, maybe you'll find somebody that's like crazy enough to do it. I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy enough to do that. Be that as it may, we're gonna go ahead and go back to Quackmire. Ooh! Giggity, 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 ooh. That joke is so old, I'm telling you, man. But I'm telling you! So old! Ugh! I don't even know why I just did that there. <laughs> Alright, oops, Daisy. Let's go fight Gruntilla's bony butt. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You know, just for old times' sakes, do you all remember the last time we fought Gruntilda the Witch? Oh snap! Crap just got real, we got it! This is the part of the game where all the kids go, Yay! The bad guy's gonna lose! <laughs> hey, is the ninth one gonna do it? <laughs> Poor old Betty set to fall! Upon this spell, I'll not recall! And... It missed. <laughs> that poor girl, man. As much as we despise her for how much she's done, that does not look like a lot of fun. Crunch! Yeah, I remember that too. Oh, it was such a good day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Alright, to the top of the tower we go. This should be fun. Now, fair warning to y'all, I haven't actually completed this fight yet, but I have actually practiced a little bit, actually. Stop saying the same word, boy. Ooh, looks like there's no one here. We should just go home now. Wow! It's one heck of a view from up here! Sure is, but doesn't seem strange that uh, Gruntilda isn't up here to meet us. Obviously, she chickened out! I've enjoyed our adventure, but let's get back to the card game! <laughs> Full circle. 
we just went full circle right back to the very beginning. Wow. Man, I don't know who's talking outside, but they're real loud. Of course, I have room to talk. I'm inside and I'm being loud. Oh, jeez. I just have to look at the screen. The monstrous mechanical mud muncher. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, Banjo? Ooh, look at the size of that. I'm sure it wasn't that big before. Uh, how could we have missed it? We had our backs turned, that's why. If you just turn around, you would have seen it. Ooh. That's right. Grunty's pulling out all the stops. Finally, after two years, revenge time! Don't bet on it, Bone Brain! We'll see, little bird. We'll see. Hmm, where's the laser button? Darn it! Oh, someone passed the manual for this thing. Confirm it. Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Oh, prepare for a long epic fight. And I'm not going to speak too much about it because it's just the game's going to do it for me. It literally is going to get just epic from here on out. Thought the quiz was over, did you? Think again, I've still got a quite a few question cards up my sleeve. They're filled with sweaty armpits, or what's lack left of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many do we need to open up the door? Oh, that's 70. I probably should have, like, let you guys see that. Drat! That's correct! I'll only use my slower attacks now. So, not only do we need to make sure that we are great... <laughs> excuse me, at fighting the Gruntilda. That's right, we gotta use the first-person shooter mode. We also need to make sure our wit is sharp as well. <laughs> oh, excuse me, now, I would advise making use of the strafe button. Kind of like what we did at Target Zan's Temple. Oh, jeez. Oof! One nil to the pesky bear! More lasers are required! You can get all the lasers and arsenal you want. You're not gonna win this fight. How do I switch that con flabbit thing on? Ah, this one? Lovely. Here we go again. Oh, lovely. Now, if you're doing this without any kind of cheats on, very, very helpful advice. Ouch! Don't just do what I did there. Do as I say, and dodge all attacks, if possible. Enormous egg, just outside the... Oh, jeez. Uh, Hagen the Hen? Yeah? Question mark? All oh, right. Who's living there? Sorry. All right, strafe time! Now you'll pick up on a pattern here after we do this a few times, actually. Ugh! Your green goo. Every ten hits we do, it seems like she's gonna add something else. Oof! Not again! Time for something new! Methinks. Methinks? Not too many people say that nowadays. <laughs> Plenty more tricks left in this beauty! Activate the mortar cannon! Good grief! Freaking. Duh, cannon? Oh, and they explode into four different directions. That's cute. Yeah, I just use talent to try and get through this mess. I'm telling you, man. Look at this. Look at this crap. She had lasers, cannons. Oh, this is cute. What is the ESPR rating? It's actually E for everyone. I don't know why it would be like rated immature. Like, what the heck would you? I mean, the joke set yeah, can get a little crude, I guess. Dude, will you aim? Stop. Gushing. Don't, 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 don't sit there like a dummy. I know, I'm being cheap, just kind of rapid firing this witch. Ah, dang it. Alright, well, now we're gonna have to dodge the stupid cannons again. I don't know why I did that. Jeez, man. You're freaking letting your. You're trying to get. You're trying to. You know what the problem is? I'm trying to think of things to say while also, like, reacting to stuff on screen, but it's like, oh, what's the point? Where could Chuffy Trade not go? Uh, I could not go to Jolly Rogers Lagoon, yeah. I'm paying attention more this time. I think that's what the thing is. I'm, the thing is? No, the thing is something else, but we won't go there. Alright, that's that. Alright, Grunty, what's your next trick? I need more firepower! Bring out the other mortal cannon! Double bombs away! What is this, a new sequel to the minigame Bombs Away from Mario Party? And Mario Party 2? I think not. Ow! Well, that was rather effective. Ugh. Talentron, get the hell away from this. Yeesh! 
I've seen some people that can, like, just sit in one place and dodge it, but I'm not one of those people. Ooh, no. It was on top of the ticket booth? I think? I mean, you think? You should know that, dude. I know it was, like, frickin' 40 some parts ago, but still, you, your memory shouldn't have gone that bad. Dude, come on! Aim? Ugh. I think that's the problem with the N64 days. The trolls were so uber sensitive, it was just ridiculous. Now, normally I would actually suggest switching over to fire eggs and whatnot, but we're going to be doing some egg switching in a little bit here. 